Which is better? Leasehold or freehold? Most people will think that freehold property has a greater potential for capital growth. Today, we are going to look at two projects in District 9. Rivergate TOP in 2008 is a freehold property versus Martin Modern TOP in 2021 and this is a leasehold property. If you study the price performance for these two projects, the prices for Martin Modern went up from 2000 per square feet in 2017 to 2600 per square feet in 2020. The increment is almost close to 600 per square feet. For Rivergate, the prices went up from 2000 per square feet in 2017 to 2200 per square feet in 2020. And why is this so? For newer projects, developer will stage up the price from launch to the point of TOP. The demand usually is strongest at the TOP stage because most consumers like you and me will want to have brand new units and we prefer to move in immediately. And if you look at the profit gain for Martin Modern, the owner made close to 700k to 1 million in 4 years. This is truly remarkable. Rivergate at the resale stage is very much subjected to the bank valuation. The only way to pull up the price in the resale stage is when every unit start to sell high. As a buyer today, are you willing to pay above the bank valuation? Let's look at another project which is side by side. Both of them are near to Serangoon and Marty Station. Forestwood TOP in 2020 versus J Residences TOP in 2017. Forestwood has 31 profitable transactions. Most of the owners make around 200k to 300k in 4 years. For J Residences, there's only 9 profitable transactions, out of which most of them barely make 50k in 8 years. And 5 of them are non profitable. And why is this so? The answer is very simple. Forestwood has a bigger land size and having more units in the development means that there are more transactions to push up the prices. On the other hand, J Residences is a small development. There are much lesser units and hence lesser transactions to push up the prices. So now, back to our topic. Does it always mean that buying a freehold is the safest bet? I'm not saying that we should avoid freehold, but to select the right property, there are in fact many other factors to consider. If you are looking at a short 3-5 to five year stay leasehold property, it will show and it will exhibit a stronger capital appreciation. If you are exploring the market, please call me. Let me be the one to maximize the profit for you in your next purchase. Once again, I'm Victor from Vic Property and I'll see you soon.